Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a pin password on your Chromebook. So perhaps you have a really long password for your Google linked account and you'd rather just type in a short pin code when you are booting up your computer or changing any settings for that matter. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. So we're going to begin by opening up the clock. So go ahead and just select the clock settings in the bottom right corner of the taskbar. And then you want to select the setting gear icon where you hover over it. It says settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select settings up at the top left. And then select where it says people. You want to now run underneath your user account. You want to select where it says screen lock sign in automatically. Go ahead and left click on that. So at this point you will be prompted to enter in your password. So we have to have our password nearby, type that in here. And we need that in order to make the change. So let's just type that in during this brief pause. And then we're gonna go select confirm. Hopefully I typed it in correctly, which I did. So anyway, screen lock options, you're gonna go select pin or password and then select set up pin. At this point, type in a pin number you'd want to take in lieu of typing in your password. Please keep it handy, do not lose it. Um, you know, once you type in the pin code here, you definitely don't wanna lose that. Just make sure you have it nearby. Pin must be at least six digits probably don't want to do something like one, two, three, four, five, six. You probably actually want to do something a little bit more creative than that. And again, it must be at least six digits. It can be more if you choose to do so. So once you're done with that, you go select continue. You finish setting it up and that'd be as simple as that. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do a pause to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.